We are uh, shooting this at a time when um, the armed forces are battling in the borders. Thanks to all the effort that uh, the Jawans are doing, which ensures that we are sitting here chatting. Uh, the reason I say that is because um, I don't think everything is out there yet, but um, a lot of the success that the Indian Army had, in, uh, the armed forces had, uh, was because of indigenously built technology over the last decade. Right? Um, and um, so in some sense, the way I see it is you need, you need better tech to have the upper hand. Can I just ask you a question? Did it surprise you that so much Indian tech was used? Yes, yes. I was not uh, sufficiently educated about what's happening in that space. And I was surprised. Yes. Yeah, so so was I. I was like uh, surprised, but also proud in a sense that, okay, we are cured that so much Indian tech could get used. Correct. Uh, and I think we should know more about it, especially in places like here in Ayat Madras. Mm. Because, see, you need superior tech to have the upper hand, right? Uh, but in today's world, I think you need strategic autonomy to have the winning hand. And what does that mean, right? You don't want to decouple from the world. India has never wanted to decouple from anybody. But you need to have the ability to build things from scratch, as we say, yourself, right? Uh, happy to collaborate with whoever in the world to build whatever, uh, but you should have the ability to build it yourself because that gives a very different stance to who we are.